What's up, what's up, y'all? I am your girl, Candy, and to my left, I have my most handsome, most wonderful, most amazing husband, Todd Tucker, in the building, and we are about to spit for this. Oh, you can barely talk, let alone say speak on it. Well, speak on it. Ty, you know, I'm glad that you were able to join me. I know you have been doing your thing with the fellas. You know, y'all been speaking on each episode every week. Yep, yep. Hey, best friends. We're back. Real Talk Husbands of Atlanta. Hey, guys. What up? What's What's going Ross, on, how What's you happening? feeling? I'm great. Yeah? <laughs> Todd? We don't get nicknames this week? Like, he was... Oh, no, no. Fertilizer no, no. Rock. Wait. That's no. okay. You're going to hate it a little bit. Uh, I, I'll start. We'll start off really kind. Okay. Home, you know? <laughs> What's up, Ralph? What's good? How are you? Great. But overall, this week, I felt it was important for you to sit down with me and talk because this episode of Real Housewives is a lot about you and I. All right, we can make that this. Truth comes out. I mean, the streets be talking. This season, I feel like the fellas have been brought back into the season a lot more. You remember how back in the day when you, Apollo, Peter, and and Greg, all of y'all were really involved before. And then for a while, it was like the fellas weren't involved. And now, this season, I feel like that is coming back. It is, it is. What do you think? I think it's good. I think it's a good balance. Um, I think it's good to see how the women interact within their relationships. Um, My boy Ralph, he's in uh, the line of fire, hot water, the hot seat. Can I say one thing here? It wasn't like Ralph said, hey, let me go and grab this assistant with a big butt. But you know, that's part of it. That's part of this show. That's part of relationships, you know? Mm-hmm. Your ups, your downs. After the bad date night, Ralph packed a little bag and started sleeping in Makai's room. And um, yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good to see you yeah. know, the women with their significant others and just how they interact in their relationships. You be taking multiple vacations throughout the year. When you're not here, it disrupts the flow. You leave for months. If I leave a weekend here, a weekend there, but you leave for months. Yeah, I know uh, Ralph and Drew were not feeling how they've been looking on these last few episodes. What was so the reply? The reply was, look, you know, I was like, hey, my back is really hurting. And she was like, man, like you should have gotten that massage or whatever like that. I was like, hey, no, you no, know no. what? What did she say? I had to let go of those expectations. I don't think they're looking bad. I think they look like a couple that's going through some shit. We, you know, we all go through our things, mm-hmm. you know, ups and downs. And, you know, I think he's frustrated. I think she's frustrated. And when, you know, two people, when two people are frustrated, it's hard to communicate. So she actually was feeling that. Did you, did yeah. you receive it? Not really. Mm-hmm. You know, when you're mad about something, it's hard to drop, you know, your ego or your thing to say, you know what? I get it from your point of view. I'm sorry. Can you try to get it from my point of view? Because that's all it's really about. Mm -hmm. You gotta drop your your guard down and communicate and try to understand the other person's side. Well, the thing that I love about their relationship is that they're willing to share. Say it. I want you to say it to me. If you want me to not ever talk to her again, you say it out of your mouth. I will never do that. I want you to respect the relationship in order for you to make the decision because then you feel like down the road it wasn't the right decision now you're blaming me and now you're resenting me for it they're willing to speak openly about this craziness that they got going on and i feel like you know we've been able to do that over the years i mean just like even when we did the whole prenup that was hard it didn't have to be as hard as it was and i feel like that's why people connect with us because even though you know, when you're in a relationship, everything is not going to be good. You know, right. sometimes things are going to be crazy. And when she met me, I used to go out all the time. <laughs> I go out seven days. I go out at least five, yeah, six. Yeah, and he used to drink like a college student. And I like the fact that they have been like open books. And the thing is, too, you don't know what got them to the point they're at right now. Right. Like, you know, they haven't been on the show for 10 years. They've had some stuff that's probably happened right before getting, you know, before getting on the show. So mm-hmm. it's just, you know, I'm, I'm interested to see how it plays out. I think they're they're going to make it, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. but I'm happy we're getting to see it. I'm happy Rob's getting a chance to express itself. And, uh, you know, hopefully it will all come together. Yeah. Yeah. Now, another thing, a lot of talk <clears throat> um, in these last few episodes, and we're not even going into what we talked about tonight. Right. But in the last few episodes, it was a lot of talk about 
our sex life or lack thereof. Funny thing is, like, you would think that we would be screwing if not at, you know, five, seven times a week or whatever, but we don't. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes we do fall in that funk of, like, so you ain't having sex as much as you used to or whatever. Yeah. Well, you know, it, you know, it was just, the conversation about we haven't been having sex as much as we used to. We like, okay, we're gonna, you know, we start off, turn on our favorite shows that we like to watch the next thing you know. <sighs> you know, we've said that a couple times over the last couple of years, I think. Mm -hmm. And well, what, what do you feel about that? Well, I'm gonna put it back on you. What do you feel about that? I mean, I feel like this week we got it in real good. What you think? Oh, this week was good. This week was good. <laughs> We made up for it this week. Legs and hips and body, body. Let's get them, girls. Body, body. This week was definitely good. I just think, you know, it's tough during those periods where you're super busy. I'm busy. I'm never as busy as you are. But I think when you're traveling and you're making a lot of moves. <laughs> You know, I've, I've watched you, you know, work a full schedule, fly home on a red eye, get up, go do something else, and continue to move. So I get it, but I think you have to make the time. Well, speak on it. Mm -hmm. I think we both have to make the time. Yeah. You know, just like we make the time for all of the businesses and all of, you know, the events we go to, we got to make time to say, you know what, I might miss this event, but I'm going to knock his socks off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think that's just what I mean. And vice versa, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I think it's just a matter of, you know, really being conscious and understanding. Like, yo, I'm tripping. Let me chill out tonight. Mm -hmm. Let me get, get into, you know, candy go to night mode. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, I think the funny part is a lot of people are shocked to hear that because they always feel like, oh, candy got a sex toy line. How is it that, you know, they are not having sex every day? You know what I mean? Right. And I feel like, you know, you just kind of explained it. It's like, okay, well, if you know you've seen me in four different cities. Hey, everybody, I am your girl Candy, and today I will be co-hosting on The Real. In three days. What's up? So, um, how you doing? I'm good, how you doing? Good. How's your family? Everybody's good. Kids okay. are good? Yeah. All right, good. It's good to see you. I'm excited to do this. You know I'm a huge fan, kid. I know you know everything. I'll see you out there. Then you know that I'm really like, not sleeping. I'm here, there, everywhere. So it's like. So it's like when you tired, is the coochie tired? Like how does that work? So. Well, it's not that the the coochie is necessarily tired. <laughs> it's just that my mode to initiate the move mm. may not be mm. on go. The thing is, if your energy is not in it, it's not gonna read well anyway. So. Yeah. I'd rather you be ready to. Cause yeah, cause like I be telling my, I tell people right, right. when you, when you have to go down, when you suck the right, you have to suck the like you love it. If you getting ready to just pop it off, you got to do it like you love it. You can't do it like you tired. Like oh hell, I gotta do this. Yeah, nobody again. don't want that. Uh, yeah, nobody want that. I'm you gotta. Do I'm gonna do it cause you want me to. Yeah, but this week then I do it like I love oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, you love it. <laughs> So I don't want y'all to think that it's always like that. You know, it's just, you know. No, when it pops, it pops off. Like, it, it's dope. But, you know, mm -hmm. it's just trying to keep that balance. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know? Right. Oh. Well, all right. I've changed this whole pool room. Check the floors out. It's the black marble look. So the reason why there were boxes in, okay, so we one of those people that are guilty of never finishing our house. You know that tan, that old school? But, you know, things have kind of slowed down right now. We finished certain parts of the house, but we right. never finished the entire house. Me and my wife have to agree on some equipment for the humidity in the pool area. But, um, you know, it's really hard to get her to sit down and focus. And we're never home. <laughs> and, that, and that's, I think that's part of the problem is like mm -hmm. when you're never there, you get used to the couple of rooms you go into and you're like, mm -hmm. when are we going to get to that? We don't even go over there. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. But so, that wasn't just it. At that time, Todd decided that he was going to remodel the pool area. Right. Right? And so it was like furniture and different things that was in the pool area. We decided to drain the pool out, put everything that was in that area in the pool. Right. And we redid the floor, repainted the walls, 
And then we did the kitchen, we the bathroom. Yeah, we redid all that, but then we didn't take the stuff out and refill the pool up. It's just still sitting there. And we're gonna resurface the pool too, so yeah, it's just. And but it's still sitting there. But we still haven't finished. Just that on top of building out new restaurants, building out properties, you know, production stuff. It's a lot. It's but a we lot. did get rid of a lot of those boxes, though. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff, all the trash. Yeah, we took the furniture the out. The stuff. pool is empty now. Yeah, everything is. But a lot of stuff is still ain't done. Is it what I'm saying. It still needs to be finished. It, it still needs to be finished. I mean, overall, 2023. Yeah, we just get caught up. We really need to get a new interior designer that we trust or really like and let them. If you're an interior designer that sticks to the budget, yeah. Well, I guess it's none of those, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Anyway, anyway so that's good. still a work in progress. Right. Oh, I was going to ask you so, what do you think about the new peach holders? Meaning, let's start with Sonya and Ross. What do you think about them? I think they're a dope couple. I think... Um, we went on vacation with them, so you really yeah, got a chance yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they're real cool. I like Sonya. She's, she has that Jamaican spice to her. She's real chill, but, you know, she's fun. I'm going to make you a fried egg. <laughs> Listen. Breakfast, my specialty. I like her family. I like her family. I, I never met her family, but I like that dynamic of... All of them living together. Me, Ross, and Deuce, of course. My mom and dad. And my sister is finally here with her husband and their two boys. Not that I, <laughs> not that I want that, but it's kind of cool seeing other people do it. Mm -hmm. And it seems like they're getting along. You ready to let my mama move in? Yeah, she can come now. Okay. Yeah, life is, right. life is, in the main house. Y'all heard me say that. Yeah, she can come, she can come to the main house. I, I'm not tripping. Yeah, I, I think Ross is real cool. Laid back dude. Um... Good energy. I think they they solid. Mm -hmm. And I think I think Sonya, if you push her, that West Indian Jamaican thing. Oh no, it's, it's coming. Up, they yeah. gonna see it. You but gonna that, see it. Yeah, it's like, and it's not something she's probably gonna be able to control when it comes out. She a called me a friend. Me not calling her no friend. Yeah, y'all ain't seen it on the episodes yet, but it's coming. I'm a four time Olympic gold medalist. Hey, hey, what's up with hey, 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 hey. So what did you think about Marlo finally getting a peach? Marlo, I'm up and down with Marlo. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when I first came around, Marlo. <clears throat> see, so, and it's an Atlanta thing. I don't know. I think it is an Atlanta thing. Like, people befriend you mm -hmm. to get in position. And it felt like she was riding coattail to get into this group. And she was saying any kind of reckless thing to me and you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she, she, she's kind of, she stood the test of time, you know? Like, mm -hmm. like you asked why did she didn't get a peach for the longest. So, you were supportive on that. Um, to see her have a peach, I guess why not? Who else we got? Give her a shot, you know what I mean? And Marlo would do anything, so, you know, you need that person that will do anything, say anything, you know what I mean? I have a good one. What you got? Okay, what? I did it at the zoo. What? And a giraffe was watching. What? And then he licked on my face. <laughs> oh, my God. So she's that person, right? Well, you know, how many people... Now that you said that, how many people on this cast now do you think is that that will do anything, say anything? Um, I think it's just really Marlo. I think she's like the one that was just, because she wanted it so bad. I am Marlo Patrice Hampton from St. Petersburg in Clearwater, Florida. You think that's what, it, so you think that she's she, doing anything or saying anything just because she wants to be here? Well, that's how she came in. Mm -hmm. She came in just saying anything. I felt your doormat should have been larger. You're so miserable. Them earrings are disaster. You don't think that's her personality. You think that's part of her being a part of the show. You wear Target, sweetheart. I wear designer every day. My toothbrush is designer. Get out your feelings and get into your bag, Candy. Are you a lesbian? Come on, man. If that was her personality, you would have heard about her in the streets doing that beforehand. There's no need to act brand new, Marlo. The people already know who you are, child. <laughs> I never, I never I heard mean, of, I never you heard do know, her. I did know her before, but I, honestly, I did not know her to be like that. Right. So, I knew her before because she dated my guy. This, this is a big platform. You know, people want to be on it. They they see the things that happens when you work the platform properly, and you know, mm. you know how the shit goes. I want to be on every show. You can do anything. Well, that's your opinion. Speaking of your opinion, what is yeah. your opinion about on tonight's episode? Marlo and Sheree huh. hinted to they felt like you possibly might be cheating. Girl, you don't think Ty's sneaking off doing nothing? I think that goes back to P 
people say anything. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, how long we been on this show? I went to New York, said my name was Marvin, and then come to find out that wasn't true. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like people... And I want everybody to be clear about that because I think a lot of people don't under, don't remember the fact that when they brought up the whole Marvin thing at the reunion that season, I do believe Portia said at the reunion that that was just something that she saw in the blog or somewhere online or whatever. The lies! There you the go. Lies. There you the lies. Lies. She well, said it wasn't true or somebody you know told I mean? her or whatever. So my thing is... It's it's tough for the guys because we really can't defend defend ourselves. Mm-hmm. If we go too hard, is oh you being disrespectful to a lady, and it's like you guys can just say whatever, you know, to the guys about the guys in you know in secret. Uh-huh. It's not like the guys do scenes and be like so and so is a whore or so and so. You know what I mean? And not that <laughs> oh, and not that anybody you know. wants to do that, but it's almost like, and I guess it's part of the show. You throw shit out there that's mean and hurtful. You know, to hurt, you know, to hurt people or to get at them or, you know, to rub mm-hmm. them the wrong way. I don't know. No, I ain't say that. Because Tyler ain't even a shrieky as Candy. Candy freaky as hell. She might need therapy. I and, think I, but, I, I mean, at the it. time, I'm going to be honest. I felt like when they were kiki and amongst themselves. Uh-huh. Oh, you think he doing something? Um, talking about your apartment or whatever. It didn't feel like they were trying to just throw stuff out there because they weren't even talking to me. They never said that to me. Like, me watching that back. It's the right. first time me hearing them say that. Like, I didn't know that they actually said that. But, but Which is but, also a thing for me because I'm like, okay, just before, you know, I felt like wasn't Sheree upset because I didn't tell her what Drew had said about the assistant. And now here it is. She's talking about, like, make it seem like she heard rumors about you doing stuff. So I was just like, I, okay, she never told but me. Just, just... But just watching okay. it, it seemed like it was just something to say. Maybe Candy has every right to be a little cautious. That's all I'll say. Because the thing is, in this group, we already know at that very next dinner, that would have been something that would have came up if it was a thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. in these shows, we know we've been on this shit forever. If they had real If they team. had anything that was substantial at that dinner, hey, Todd. You want to be It'll a, be like, boom, right. here's the, here's then, the you know, like, uh, boom, 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 boom. And then some bitch walks in and I'm like, I don't know that bitch. You know what I mean? Ah! But all I'm saying is that I, I've chalked it up to it's a part of the show. This is what they do or uh, whatever. And, um, you know, I'm not tripping. Okay. So, Candy, how do you feel with the fact that we've seen the trailer and we, mm-hmm. we keep seeing these two talk? Because, like, even when Milo was like, she's a hoe, or she's this. Or... Oh, okay. So it keeps happening where they're talking about you, and mm-hmm. you keep finding out, like, how does this work? Well, let me just say, it's annoying as fuck. Okay, it's very annoying. Um, and then on top of that, this is not the only time. Um, we're, actual, we're actually going to see more of it, apparently. Um, going forward, I don't want to give too much ab- about the future episodes, but... Clearly, y'all saw me um, and Marlo having an argument in Asana in the super trailer they put out. And that was a little bit of me arguing with them, the two of them. In Asana? Yeah. You know, later after that argument, I found out that, you know, they were saying things about me to some of the other girls. So it's going to be a consistent thing that happens multiple times. Candy was a damn hole. She f***ed everybody for free. Continues to happen um, throughout the season. So I guess I'll address it as it continues to happen because obviously I'm just getting little bits and pieces here, but I'm sure the more and more I hear and see for myself, I'm going to clearly be mad as hell. It is what it is. I mean, I kind of get used to it, you know, being on the show, you know, people... Wait, are you really on your phone in the middle of speak on it? Um, I don't know. You was talking to the people. You wasn't talking to me. You're on camera, sir. I know, but that was you and the people connecting. Like, you wasn't... You're still on camera. Act like you're on the show. I'm on the show, but usually when you're on the show, the... The host doesn't break off and have a monologue. Well, with the... we do. We talk to you and we talk to the people because the people is watching. He's not a good guest. I'm a great guest, but I like, I need attention. Don't sit me here for 
seven minutes while you anyway now you done threw me off so how do you feel when the ladies talk about your wife on tv <laughs> how do you feel when they talk about me on tv when they talk about you i'm like you're the queen huh they have to go for the throne like this is your show what? i don't care what nobody say it's yours <laughs> it's been yours and you've been on it the longest you've used the platform for what it's for and people see that and they want that and yeah that's what they do when you when you pop in when you crack in people got shit to say well point thanks, blank and it's nothing against them <laughs> it's nothing against them it's what people are supposed to do naturally hmm. you know what i mean okay there's some natural haters on your show and they gotta naturally hate you oh no they're not i'm just saying it is what it is man okay when you're winning that's just what happens you see it. It's just a part of this world, what goes on. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay. The odds are against you. There's that many people. The percent rate <clears throat> is high for people to hate. Mm -hmm. And everybody's going to get along. All right, we're going to move on. So just keep winning, babe. That's it. That's all you can do. Just keep doing what you're doing. All right, we're moving right along. Oh, you done with me? Oh, you done with me? No, we're just going to move on to okay. some of the other things. What's up? What we got? So the thoughts uh, on thoughts of a color man the play amazing thank amazing. you um i almost cried the first time i saw it i didn't because i held the tears back um because i didn't want to look like a sucker but that was a really well put together play it it just told the story of black men from all different perspectives and whether you didn't have to be in every position to feel every position, yeah. you know, their journey. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Even with the gay guy, like, there was things in his journey that I felt. Mm -hmm. The basketball player, dude. Like, there was just something that every black man would have connected with in each character. Mm -hmm. um, that was a dope, super dope play. Thank you. I appreciate that. I mean... I was super excited that I was able to get the girls to come up to New York during this, you know, while we had the show on Broadway. It was a major, major, major situation. I don't think you guys understand how big of a deal that was to have a production like Thoughts of a Colored Man on Broadway. Like, Broadway is known as the Great White Way. So to have a, a Broadway production starring seven, seven black men with an all black producing team was major. And it was major for me because I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm part of this. So... Just to say that, I'm excited that Bravo highlighted it. Let me say that. To go on this trip, right? What? We decided, you know, I, I decided that I wanted to give the girls a gift. But it was really you that told me the idea to give the girls a, a special treat. My thing is, we got to have fun. So when I sent the, the vibrating panties to the girls, what? it actually was Todd's idea to do it. He's the one who told me to do it. Yeah, but I, I thought that would spice things up, make it fun. You know, Marlo had just did her little computer laptop thing. So I'm like, yo, let's take it up a notch. Hi, Sonia. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Hey. Every time I open my door in Atlanta, it's a surprise. Dear Sonia, thank you for attending this very special trip. Bedroom candy, it just spices up the bedroom. We need this in our life. I don't know if you've ever tried it, but... <laughs> Yes, and you're ready for your significant other to slide on up in that thing. Take you where you need to go. And, I mean. and the thing is, it's okay. Like, I know people are like, oh, they're freaks, they're this, they're that. Damn. Let's see if you can get down there. Wait, what am I doing? Just get down on your knees. Down on your knees. Down on your knees. Hey, it's nothing wrong with having a great sex life when you have it. You know yeah. what I mean? You add this, girl. <laughs> It ain't nothing you can do. Imagine this, imagine this. And this is for my ladies, you know what I'm saying? You know. Let's say you come home and your boo puts the blindfold on. They have you sitting on a chair. Then they hit your little button with the arousal cream, meaning. I'm meaning you naked right now, okay? Then they hit that little button with the arousal cream, right? You don't know what's coming in. You just feel this tingle sensation coming all through your body, you know what I mean? It's just tingling, right? And then they hit it with the suction. They hit it with that suction, and then you don't, but you don't see nothing. You don't, you didn't see it coming, so you didn't know it was coming. And then all of a sudden, you just feel yourself being a little in a puddle. 
Let's just say you in a puddle. And I get it. Some of the girls are single or whatever, but I just really thought it would be something funny. Just Give them something some fun, fun yeah, you know, just, turn it up. It's my trip. You know, the trip yeah. I do have to be turned up. It can't be no boring trip, okay? Right. So she came around with a supermodel yeah, with a computer giving out uh, her invitation. So my invitation had to be way more fun than that. So that's right. why I had Patrick and Safari. Oh, my lord, it's... Oh! Okay. I already have this. Ah. I was just looking online for one of these. I know you weren't. From Candy and the Gang. I actually hung my player jersey up when I met Safari. I wasn't even intending to. Gang gang. Gang gang. Yeah. To come through with their dungeon outfits on yeah. with our gift to tell them to bring it as their um treat on the trip. And it is mandatory that you bring this with you on the trip. Yeah, which just have fun in New York, man. That's it. Thank you. Hi. Hey. I didn't know this was a couple's trip. I think it's the same as back in the day. I mean, there was once a time where I did not have a significant other, and there were other people on the show who were in relationships. Before I got with Todd, there were married couples on the show, and I was a single girl. I think that's something that she should have told me, being a single person. So, I mean, I mean, they're in the same position I was in a long time ago. They'll be all right. Is it a girl's trip or are we bringing... Well, if you got a date, bring them. That's why we used to have so many different type of people who watch the show. We used to have some some men who watch the show who re could relate because there were other right. men on the show. And that's true. So, when when the guys were on it before a lot, a lot more often, mm -hmm. I would meet people and they'd be like, man, bro, like watching you or watching you and your wife or watching your relationship. Mm -hmm. So guys would connect. Yeah, yeah, you need that. I feel like it need, it's, it was needed this season to me. And and we needed something much different than last season. So I think it added something. I want to remember Letitia Bay from New York. She did my makeup a ton when I was here. Got my lady looking nice. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> okay, so moving right along. Okay. We talked about the panties. Yeah. I saw some people like my gift, some people did not. Right. So what? <laughs> <laughs> Live a little, that's my answer. Live a little, that's it. Live a little. Okay, now on to you in this damn apartment. You and your Jersey crib. Okay. okay. So can we please explain <coughs> to the people who may not understand how the apartment came about? Before he even met me. Yeah. So I don't want y'all to think that this was something yeah, that we went on while we was together. This was um, before he met me. A young lady and I purchased a crib. He I moved on. I moved out, um, which I agreed to do. If it didn't work, I would leave. Basically, she never refinanced to get my name off of it. So my name had been on this property since then. When you and I got married, you did ask me to deal with it. I did not. Um, then I finally got a lawyer. I was in court for a couple of years. Basically, you know, she had first right to buy out the place. And if she wasn't able to, they allowed me to. And that's what ended up happening. I really did it because I didn't want a foreclosure on my record, um, on my credit, because you know, all the stuff we do. Mm -hmm. So I had to buy it out. Yeah, so that's where it's at. Um, so I have this crib and you don't want to go there. <laughs> okay, so now y'all got the backstory. All right, so for me, right? Here we go. I'm just saying. For me. For me. Right. I'm like, I get it. It's his apartment now. I get it. But why don't you rent it out? Airbnb it. Why do we have to stay? You can't there? Airbnb it. You could do long term rental. Well, rent it out. Like, why do we have to stay there? That is my thing. And it's like, you, you know, you are excited about owning the place again. And. Well, I'm excited because I know it's something, you know, we talked about I could leave Kayla. A very nice apartment in a very nice area. Um, the value has gone up considerably. So it's a good piece of property to add to the real estate portfolio. And I think I would love for you to be excited as well. The thing is, if it were you, I would be excited with you and for you. I think mm -hmm. with me, at times, it's just like if it doesn't meet a purpose for you, you don't really feel any need to indulge or get excited about it. If that shit was in the middle of the city, right down, right upstairs from one of your plays, you'd be like, oh my God, let's hook it up. You know, it's a little 15, <laughs> it's a little 15 minute, it's a little 15 minute ride, but 
Okay, you might not be wrong on that. Hey, I know, I know who I married. Like, you you got to know, you know, your partner. But at times you got to bend a little bit. You know, you got to, you could even fake me out. Like, you know what, babe, let's do it. I'm going to help you pick out furniture, da, 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 da. And then when you go to New York, oh, well, they already booked me a hotel room. Like, work with me. Like, don't, don't just treat me like, like, you know. I mean, I have been trying to give some input. But what I will say is. It's not even just that apartment. Like, I don't, like, we are different in that way. He wants to have a, part, a place in L.A., a place in New York, a place in Miami, a place. In, like, I ain't never wanted to do that. Like, I'm a person, I like getting a hotel here, leaving, never coming back there. Messing it up, not having to worry about it when I go away. Like, I don't want to have to have maintenance on it. I don't want to have to think about it when I leave. Like, I don't want a whole bunch of places in a whole bunch of different cities that I got to keep tending to. That's just not nothing that so, I've ever Right, and the problem wanted. is you keep saying I. And I think when you start to compromise, like I, I tend to do a lot with you, I think you'll understand. Like, oh, it may not be that bad. Or, oh, I see why he might want to do this. Or, hey, we did it. Mm, maybe not. Let's sell it. We'll make a couple of dollars and keep it pushing. My thing is you haven't even given this thing a chance for us to say, you know what, it is a little tough coming here back and forth. You know what, I'm going to rent it out. You just from the rip. Nah, I don't want to do it. It ain't what I like. I hate it. Get out of here. <laughs> Terrible. What else we got going on? Speak on it. So, all right, it was only one more thing. So that was what that with the um mm -hmm. the place. But okay. it was one more thing. So this show ended on the going hard on dinner. Life. You remind me so much of Marcus crazy. Yeah. Y'all think that shit is cool? Like jumping. They were literally jumping that dude. Hold on one second. This is Anthony. Yeah, it's like, let's have a conversation. Let the guys speak a little bit. Y'all get into that and it's kind of like, and I think the fellas feel like, you know what? I don't want no smoke because these chicks is real slick out their mouths. And mm -hmm. you know, for a man. And it can go left. And it's not like they don't mind being slick with anybody. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then the first thing, if a, if a dude jump up and say some crazy shit, oh my God, I felt so funny. Mm -hmm. You know, he was just being... And it's like, yo, have a conversation without all that. Mm -hmm. Especially towards the men. Mm -hmm. Do it do it with the females. Y'all go back and forth. But with the men, don't do that. Like, he's not there to go back and forth with you. So speak to him in a respectful manner so we can have a respectful, understanding conversation Without, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. he was sitting there like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Like, Kenya was going hard. Yeah, Kenya was going hard because it was like she was having flashbacks of Mark. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? But, but that ain't that ain't cool. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That ain't cool because at the end of the day, if he would have said something slick, like, yo, I ain't more. Like, don't come at me with that shit. Yeah, you? then the conversation would have been like, left. would have blew up and everybody would be like, he was wrong because he said something back. Right. And it's like, come on. And let's rewind back. I think the therapist hit it on the point when he said that Ralph had did something amazing for his wife and did he feel like she kind of killed it with just bringing up their situation. This right here, this is like, this is what I live for because you do go out of your way to make me feel like the most important thing in the world. So I love you. I just want to make sure that we don't have these really, really high highs and we go through those lows. He said it when he did the situation. Hey, let's table that stuff for therapy. And therapy had a date. It wasn't like it was some shit he made up, therapy. Therapy was like the next week or something, from mm -hmm. what I understand. She couldn't let it go. She couldn't let it go. So she got to kind of understand his reaction as well. All right, you can let it go. Well, shit. Well, the girls were saying that she don't know how to let stuff go. Yeah. They, they said It finally that. looked like... They kind of understood some. And I'm not saying he's totally right because he got his shit too. But once again, it's them stepping behind and just looking right. at the other person. Well, one of side of that, I felt like, oh, it was nice that Kenya was taken up for Drew because, you know, last year Kenya and Drew had so much turmoil and drama. But I did not care for the fact that Kenya was going so hard at Ralph, even though sometimes I don't agree with Ralph, what Ralph does. But I just know that with her coming at Ralph, it's like, that could have went left. 
personally felt like Ralph was being respectful respectful to Kenya yeah, because he could have got out of pocket and said something crazy to her, but he didn't. Huh. He went ahead and just let her say what she had to say. And he, but then he do you feel? Tone. But then do you feel Drew should have said something like "Yo, chill" or like? Drew was actually enjoying the fact that they were taking up for her. Yeah, like... And I get it. You know, she always feels like he's basically talking circles around her. So, I guess she kind of felt good that somebody else was sticking up for her. But at the same time, he kind of, like, was helpless in the situation because he couldn't defend himself without looking like he was a man that was getting crazy with women. Right. And, and that's kind of fucked up on this show it's like and you'll see this conversation come up again later it's like men can't really go back and forth with women on the show because later y'all know in the past we've called men bitches when they try to go back and forth with the women on the show so it's kind of okay. like it's like damned if they do damned if they don't you know i understood where kenya was coming from but at the <coughs> same time it just was a little intense but i'm curious to know what you all think about that comment in the chat below. No, what did you feel about the therapist saying, keep my name out your mouth? Oh, I did not like that. I did not like that because I felt like, okay, you did, you totally jumped across the fact that you called this man a maniac and you did not want to explain why you said that. Mm. You tried to like skip out of that. And I was like, oh, okay. he tried it. He got a little aggressive with it too. He's like, keep my name out your mouth. And I was like, ooh. Hey. And then it ended on. What's that? Sheree telling Ralph that the assistant said he was gay and said something about him and um, Dennis in some photo. And see, all of that is, that's not even cool. It's like, they're saying, and that's, that's just bad, dude. Shout out to Dennis. Yeah, shout out to Dennis. <laughs> like, shout out to Ralph for holding his composure. And, and, and hate that you got dragged in it and you yeah, ain't even on this like, season. How do you just say, oh, you're gay? And that's not even in the con like that's not cool. I don't know. I just don't like that part. I think they're saying that's what the assistant has been saying. Yeah, but come on. But that's man. not cool though. So now I can repeat some shit that I've heard about these women. Why would I do that? You know what I mean? Especially if I don't know it to be true. Well, no. Her point was she was proving that it came from the assistant because she was like, well, you know, you know, this is something that the assistant said the same way that you said that the assistant yeah, told you said. stuff about me or whatever. And um, she was like, well, how do I know that that's what the assistant said? So she pulled up the assistant's text messages. Child. Man, you've known this show. Everybody's been told something from somebody. I can't stand it. They can't that. ever reproduce the person. Somebody said. Yeah. So you can say anything because you're going to say at the end, somebody told me. Fuck out of here. And did you guys know that... I saw on the blogs that apparently this same assistant has popped up on um, the Housewives of, um, I mean, not Housewives, but um, Basketball Wives. He was in some drama spreading stuff on there. I want to be on every show. Well, since you're both here, we never finished off Candy and the gang. How do we feel? What you gonna say? I'm, that's really where I am with it. It's like, what are you going to say? Candy and the gang, gang, gang. How did you feel about it overall? I felt that was a dope show. I felt like it was refreshing. La 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 la. Yeah. For reality TV. Yeah. Point blank. You know, it wasn't the same, you know, same ensemble, five women who argue about the same shit. Why are you cussing so? It was really about this family restaurant that we're struggling. Welcome to Old Lady Gang. This is normal. None of us went to school. Just to try to figure operate, it out. Operate, you know, a restaurant and all of this. Comes in no, with no. presents, you can't just be, no, oh, no. I'm touring, hear me war with the events, and let no, me no, stay no. in. And it's not easy. It's one of the hardest things I've done in my life, just to see our staff and, you know, some of the dysfunctions of what we have going on. It's dope, it's cool, and it's gonna get better, and we're gonna grow, and the show is, I think that one of the dope shows on, on network. I mean, yeah. on, on cable. I think it makes people, I think our show made people laugh. She think she Martha Stewart out here. Like belly laughs, like ha 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 laugh, like, like every too. episode. <laughs> Girl, you do booties, okay? I do bedrooms. <laughs> people said it just made them laugh, made them feel good. Even our drama, even though we had, a, you know, drama throughout here and there, but each episode still made people feel good. And it was a show that the whole family could pretty much watch. And I, we had such a dope, diverse cast. Y'all know I'm 
no lights, there's nothing that we can do on a Saturday. This is Monday. day. No, it's black, but we need to get in that kitchen and see what we can do. All right. You can't see, how you supposed to do something? Like, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed seeing these young people kind of come into their own and get an opportunity. Coming to the stage, we have Brian, our new host for Friday Night Live. This is a chill vibe, relax, relate, release. He about to take you away. Just like seeing Brian and his story, like, you know, mm -hmm. as an owner, I don't know everybody's story. I hear bits and pieces. He's <laughs> singing gospel. But to kind of see it, you know, it's a different understanding for all of them, you know, seeing yeah. Chandrika and her dude. Hello? Pretty face. Where you at? I'm at work. Patrick and some of his crazy decision making, and, <laughs> but just watching him grow and learn from it. We got three spots left. The lock filled up fast today. You know, yeah. what I mean? as much as I can tell him, Yo, dude, don't do this. You know, he's got to go his own journey and live his own journey. And watching him, you know, learn from it is, is cool. Candy and the gang, gang, gang. And then the old ladies are the best. Feeling on his girl from when we were sitting over across oh, from him. Oh, my God. Him being a manager, I thought he would have been more respectful than what he was. He do it up at the restaurant now. They did a really good job. Can you get out all right, baby? Yeah. And I love that they're able to have this shine at such a late age in life. Like sometimes you think, some people are looking for it, but to be in your 70s and 80s to become a celebrity and live this fun life and do all of these things that we do, mm -hmm. that shit is priceless. What about our online dating? <laughs> if I want one, I get it. I overall, I mean, I love this show. I felt like it, honestly, I felt like it was the best show on TV. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that just to say it. I felt like our show was hilariously funny. And I do feel like it was relatable. I felt like it just was a good show. Um, it was uh, fun to do. I am looking forward to doing it again. I think it, was, it went back to authentic reality TV without it being too far ratchet and fighting. And You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like it was fun. We had a little drama that was bearable. Well, no, I, I'm gonna tell no, the truth. Right, so mm -hmm. And it was a good time. So yeah, we killed that one, right? Come on, y'all know it, we killed it. Well, all right. So anything else you wanna tell the people about that? Um, yeah, um, I'm just out here, you know, being a real estate mogul. I know everybody be like, what does he do? He don't do it out there. Not to let y'all know, but to let y'all know. Um, a couple more restaurants coming. I gotta do Ace's Pizza for my son, Ace. So welcome to Ace Place and Good Boys, and you guys are going to see me um, make pizza. Okay. You have to press it. I can't. How do I need to press it? <laughs> that scared me. Blaze already got her restaurant. Let's take a look inside. Welcome to Blaze Taking Secrets. A um, couple of more restaurants and property mm -hmm. development. Um, Encore is on another network. Mm -hmm, let's get another let's get season. Let's get a second season. So check the credits. You'll see me. Ow. Um, Socialize, a show I've been working on. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to put it out. I got this little concept I want to do. I'm going to let you know about it. See what you think about it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to need your, you guys help at home. I, want, I need you guys to go check it out once I release it. So I got my show Socialize, which I'm working on. Candy's in it. Who else is in it? Erica Peoples, mm -hmm. The Brat. Mm -hmm. uh, what's my girl name? Saints and Sinners, Jasmine Burke. And I want you all to see it. I'm gonna put it out soon. Just trying to tweak everything and get it right. Um, so yeah, so you know, just working on building this empire and uh, taking care of these kids, daddy daycare in the house. The black one, right? Yeah, oh. I'll, I'll be home. All right. Check it out. I'm on the other side. And that's it. That's me. We got a lot coming. I'm trying to get some coochie two or three times a week. Ah, you silly. Legs and hips and body, body. Let's keep.
Get em, girls. Body, body. Anyway. Anyway, Gucci. On that note, make sure you are following him on all social media. Todd167. And thank you for watching. Speak on it. Well, hello there. Hello, everyone. I am your girl, Candy, and I'm about to speak on it. Speak on it. <laughs> When is this place gonna be done remodeling? When is that? Well, what, what is that? It's been fully gutted. Uh, kitchen cabinets are going in this week. So I would say probably another couple of months because I'm gonna work on the rooftop, get it nice. Um, I did a mid range um, renovation because I think I probably will end up um, leasing it out. So I don't wanna blow my wad, but it's gonna still look amazing. So another month will be June. By July, we could say August. We could say August so to be can fully. we possibly do a rooftop date in August for you to fill it out? That's for her. Sure. <laughs> I'm, uh, you know. Sure, of course, of course. August, it's a date. It's okay. a date, y'all. Come, come check it out in August. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, well, that's that on that. Well, I guess I lost that argument. I lost it in the show episode and I lost it now.